the Bobcats took their first conference loss of the season. That makes things very complicated for Ohio down the stretch, but it starts this weekend with Ball State. Matt Archibald, should the Bobcats be concerned at all about the Cardinals this weekend? I think they have to be. A lot of defensive injuries that we'll touch on in a little bit, but Ball State, a team a lot like Buffalo. They played a decent non-conference schedule. They beat Indiana. They beat Army. Took a tough loss at Oklahoma, but I mean that's a team that's in another level right now in college football. I think it's a game that the Cardinals learn from. Uh, looking ahead, defensive injuries we mentioned. Xavier Hughes now out for the season with a fractured shoulder. Carl Jones and Omar Lefich will be questionable for this Saturday against Ball State. And that's how on top of the loss of Neil Wynn, one of the key defensive line guys on that team, one of the best players on the defense. But all the losses, young guys like Josh Kristoff and Thad Engel are going to have to play. Their red shirt freshmen haven't seen a ton of snaps. Coach Lowe saying that because of these injuries and new guys going in, they're, kind of, they're going to have to dumb down the scheme a little bit. Uh, as far as schemes, go um, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll do a few things um, differently we can we can find ways of winning football games with, uh, with the group that, that we got there's no question so we see the cats defense battered and bruised what kind of weapons do the cardinals present on offense that could challenge a very inexperienced bobcat d kind of interesting i said ball state kind of looks like buffalo well their quarterback kind of a uh, tyler tettleton looked like a young guy playing way above his years he hadn't thrown a pick all season until the oklahoma game then he threw three to the same guy Kind of a fluky game, whatever, but he's been managing that team well. Has 1,100 yards, seven touchdowns, now five picks because he threw two against Temple last week. On the running game, you see Jawan Edwards averages 70 yards per game. Not a great average, but has six touchdowns this season. So when he gets near the end zone, he knows how to find it. Uh, take a look real quick at the Ohio offense. The rush attack might be huge this weekend. In their two MAC games, Ball State has given up 122 to Brandon Oliver, who we saw last week. A very capable running back. And then get this, against Temple, 62 carries. 330 yards. Yeah, right I'm guessing here. Frank Solich has seen that. They might be pounding the rock this Saturday. All right, Matt Archibald previewing the Ball State game.